Now, if you're looking for some dinner inspiration, then look no further. Please do, because Nisha Katona is here with one, not one, sorry, two dishes mm. for you to try, and mm. she is using a star ingredient. Nisha, I'm ready to eat. Do you like a bit of paneer? I love a bit of paneer. Love this that. is all about paneer, Island. So we're going to show you how to make paneer. Mm. A lot you... of people don't know what paneer is. No. Well, I asked the question. I was like, is it like that squeaky cheese? Yeah, yeah. and it is. Yeah. So here's the thing. There are two types of cheese. There's a kind of cheese that melts mm. because it's cheese that's cheese huh, that's curdled with rennet. And there are hot milk curdled cheeses with acids and they don't melt. So they that gives them a squeak. So this is not squeaky. Halloumi squeaky. Yes. This is just hot milk. I'm just going to show you what. So you're making oh, wow. paneer? This is paneer from scratch. Oh, I've never done oh, that. I thought no, you bought it and, like, open the pack. No. Yeah. So, no, listen, there is some from a packet there. Does so, it taste as good, though? Or... Do you know what? It's not all right. Not as good right. as Nisha's. It, not... Not as good Do you know as what? Nisha's. It's a bit of a pain. So can I show you? This is in Indian houses. Paneer is a big thing. So lots of Indian children will tell you that from all of their sinks and their bathtubs and their shower units, yep. mothers will hang muslin bags oh, yeah. of cheese to drain. So you wake up and there are these bags hanging all over the house. I love it. You know, above all the drains. And this is what they've done. They've taken milk that's yep. just about to go off because we don't like to waste in India. No. To that, we add a bit of lemon. And it curdles, curdles. Yeah. and it curdles into the curds and whey, as in Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds. She away. loved that tuffet. <laughs> she loved it, didn't she? And then she wasn't the keen on the spider. No, came sat down beside her, her apparently. It would be interesting. Right, away. No, poor oh. girl. Anyway, you end up with this. <laughs> Just that don't even so comment appetizing. on it. Can you just not comment on it? That looks gorgeous, I know. that. They've had a lot of baby talk today. <laughs> OK, oh. let's just... <laughs> That's what you end up with. You cool it and you pour it through oh. a muslin into a sieve. But I just want to show you, Kat. This is, this is essential. I, I remember I when I did... I worked on Ready Steady Cook and I remember we had a chef called Romy, Romy Gill, and she made cheese on the show. Yeah. And I was so impressed yeah. at how quick you can make cheese. Because yeah. you think, cow. Yes. Yeah. Farm. Yeah. yeah. Go to the shop. <laughs> open <laughs> it. <laughs> but it was Get like in the cheese. car. There you go. There's <laughs> cheese. Look, there's cheese. How amazing no, is that? It's there. Which is, yeah. So, can you see that little bowl? Surprise, bowl, surprise. Yeah. And so to that, you could add, honestly, you could add a few herbs and a bit of salt and a bit of lemon juice, and you've got almost like a rudimentary ricotta. Yeah. Dead nice. You could spread that on the toast or whatever. What we do is we drain it, drain it, drain it till it gets really hard. Then it goes in the fridge under a medical textbook. <laughs> As you do. Raise anatomy. Wow. On it in the fridge, drains it completely so you get this solidified cheese and you chop it and it's ready to go. Amazing. So this is amazing. This is good protein. Mm. You know, in India, the truth is, if you want to eat protein, you go to a market where there are animals, you know, so you've got to think about how much meat we put in our bodies. Mm. You don't need it when you've got things like paneer, mm -hmm. which are full of protein. So we're going to get paneer two ways today. You're getting paneer two ways. Way number one yeah. is in the curry that's in front of you. So have to have a little taste oh, of that. OK, let's do it. The base of this curry, so that sweetness, you'll see that it's quite a sweet curry. There's a little bit of a kick to that, so because I put a little bit more chilli in than I meant to. Ooh. Oh, that's yeah. handsome. It's really <laughs> lovely. <laughs> the word. Angels dancing. I love... I was so nervous about cooking for you. You thought it might you. be a bit too spicy. I did. It's not too it's spicy. Not this at is all. bang on. So what's in here? Okay, so we start with onions and we go capers, ginger and garlic. Did you say capers? Mm. No, my love. It's what not. I... We don't use capers. Capers are not an Indian thing at all. Oh, peas. Uh, peas. Yeah. Although capers would be great. So into this, onion, ginger and garlic. Really and we fry that peas. up. No, lovely. Yeah. Paneer and peas go very ordinarily together. So peas are something that Indians put into many, many curries mm. to bulk them out and to give right. them that extra sweetness. Because this food's got to go a long way. Very often in an Indian kitchen in India, it's one stove, one pan to cook for a family of yeah. mm. or whatever it might one be. Pot. Whoever turns Love. up Whoever well. turns yeah. Exactly, yeah. that's the thing. You walk into the house and we've got to get the dishes up. Doors open. Heaven forbid yep. you shouldn't be fed. Yeah. So onion, ginger and garlic, because we want that really mm. ugly. It's like a meat I mean, they're like base. the holy trinity, aren't they, they of Indian are. cooking? Do you know what, Ryan? They are for meat cooking. So this is where it's dead interesting. So for meat cooking, they're the holy trinity. They can overpower delicate vegetables like cabbage or whatever, cauliflower. Mm, okay. But with meat, they kind of drive flavour into the flesh. And they do the same with paneer, because paneer's got a good density and heft to it. To that, we add those kind of brown, powdery spices that you see in your cupboards. Mm. Garam masala, mm -hmm. cumin, coriander. These are fragrant and they are aromatic and they are punchy, punchy flavours. And because if you taste paneer on its own, it tastes of very little. It's like mozzarella. Mm. Yes. yes. Or yeah. halloumi, you know, yep. you've got to add things to it. It's a cheese it. to cook with, yep. because you can do whatever to, to it. You can cook with it beautifully. 
you can grill it beautifully. So I'm putting a little bit of all of those sort of brown pepper. The, the, the recipe's on the website. They come in. Yeah. Turmeric and chilli, because turmeric and chilli go into all curries to give you those layers mm -hmm. of flavour. Mm -hmm. So turmeric and chilli and garam masala, essentially. And then into that we go tomato puree, mm. because this is a dish where we want a real so intensity good. of flavour. Mm. And we go a bit of tin tomato. These are all kind of mm. store cupboard ingredients. You know, it's just... You, you want that kind of sweetness and that tang that comes from the tomatoes. A bit of water, mm. and I'm going to end up with this, the sauce here to the right. Brilliant. So simple to that. That is so easy. Yeah, yeah. Not... to that you, ought, you just add the paneer, and you add the peas, simmer, and Bob's your uncle. Honestly, within about five minutes, that paneer will have come through. And that's through. done. Yeah. That's done. But What's... very quickly... Nisha, I've got... I've got a wrap here. You got... And, we, <laughs> and we need to wrap. wrap as well. You've got a wrap. We're wrapping so and wrap him. Paneer sticks. Yeah. OK. So what are you mixing That over is that? just yoghurt, tandoori masala, turmeric and salt, and you coat them in this kind of yoghurt wrap, grill them or fry them, nice. oh. and then it's almost like sausage or bacon. It's yeah. so delicious. And it's all on the website for and us, it's isn't all it? on the website. This is so one of my favourite things I've had in here. Oh, my gosh, you're kidding. That is gorgeous. Oh. You're one of my favourite things. Oh. <laughs> oh. And, that is, and what's in this wrap? You've got the so you've paneer. Got tamarind. Yeah, so it's paneer, tamarind, onion, raita, Few things to give you that kind of mm. those height, that height of flavour. Oh, it's a oh. pleasure to cook for you. And How the wonderful. sweetness too, and everything is yeah. amazing. Thank you so much. And that's that paneer wrap. So that, that's that's just what it looks like when it's grilled. Nature, delicious. That is gorgeous. Yeah. And remember, yeah. down boat. details of recipes from all our chefs can be found on the free this morning app. That was delicious. Thanks, Thank you. Nature. So glad. Lovely Thank to see you. Loved it.